Hello, and welcome to Demon Media Episode 3! Uh, I am your host, as normal, um, Springy, and here again, like I said, with our very special guest. I'm Velvet. Hi, what's up? That was so anticlimactic. I should be more enthusiastic. Be more... Woo! Yeah, Hi, trust guys. me, you, you you get used to it. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> you, you get used to the woo real fast. Um, but... So now we're just gonna hope we're just gonna get right on into this. Um, we're gonna be talking about FNAF three and four. Uh, my personal favorite is FNAF three because of spring trap and all that fun stuff. So we're just gonna get hopefully right on into it. Um, I'll be starting off this time. Um, and yes, you'll be seeing I am downloading episode one right now <laughs> that we or episode two that we just did. Oh gosh. Oh, spring trap. First guy. So as you can see, this is the first animatronic with five fingers. Just want to point that out right now before anybody before I forget. And there's a lot of like gross organs. It's because we learn in the game this is also William Afton, the person who child murdered all the children. Um, and he's back. Um, FNAF 3 is supposed to be, I think, in like 2036 or something like that. It's supposed yeah. to be like in the future, like the far future, because it. Because it's not in a pizzeria this time, it's in a horror attraction. And they're like, oh my god, we found a real suit! And it's this lovely... Phone dude! <laughs> this phone dude. Oh god, phone dude. Uh, and then they also do have um, Phone Guy return a little bit as well. Um, um, as you can see, Springtrap. Um, he has organs, as you can see, within him. Um, he has one button. He has a broken ear. Um... There are some screens where if where he lifts up his top face, his okay. where he looks lips lips ugh, lifts up his maxilla of the suit. Technical technical bone terms. Um, he lifts it up, and then you see a skull with like flesh and stuff, mm -hmm. and with some robotic bits sticking through it as well. That's supposed to be um, William Afton's face. Later on, there's a lot. There was a short debate about if this is actually Michael Afton, but that actually gets um, fixed up later on as Keep well. Um, so yeah, um, this was the result of of Purple Guy being chased into the storage room from the ghosts of FNAF One um, because there's only four animatronics and they all look like FNAF One. So I'm saying FNAF One. Um, they got he got chased in there. He went into a damp, wet spring lock suit for Spring Bonnie, which is the, I think, the official name. Um, I think we actually officially learned the name in FNAF World, which we're covering next episode. Oh, God. Um, so, uh, he's the killer. He, he's also the only one in this game that can actually kill you and defeat you in this game. Mm -hmm. Springtrap. Um, <laughs> then we look at Phantom Freddy. This is... Um, this is the ghostly version of Freddy. Um, he, oh god, I should have looked up what each of them did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so Phantom Freddy, right here, he is missing his leg and his ear. A lot of it looks like he is the withered Freddy. No, I think he's supposed to be the normal model Freddy from FNAF 1. Just yeah, withered. Because so. his head is more circular. But in this game, a lot of the phantoms kind of go back and forth in between FNAF 1 and FNAF 2 in their models. As you can see, he still has a microphone. has a lot of wires coming off him. He's missing his whole damn leg. Um, uh, and the, uh, fine. Fine. Um, he he um, bounces, kind of, because he has to hop in front of the glass. And to stop him from causing an effect, which is either... Uh, audio disruption, visual disrupt, uh, camera disruption, or uh, ventilation. Um, you have to pull up one of the um, screens quickly before he pops up and jump scares you. All of them can jump scare you, but not all of them can kill you. Only Springtrap can do that. Phantom Chica, again, going with the FNAF 1 model. Uh, Chica is going to be near, actually, Chica's head, I do believe. And yeah, it yeah. does. Same type of thing, just yet in this one, you have to either change the camera or close out your screen, I do believe. Like, close your laptop. Yeah, because doesn't she show up on an arc 
arcade machine, I believe. Like the oh mom- yeah, yeah. It- like it shows her face on the arcade machine. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. That's in right in the camera face. Yeah. yeah. And then Phantom Foxy. Um, as as like I said, this is more based off of Withered Foxy than normal Foxy. He's missing his whole hook hand. He's not even a pirate anymore. He's just yeah. disabled. Does he? Um, <laughs> that, and he has a lot more um, wires coming out than he did before, and his coloring is obviously much more dirtier. Um, he's on a camera as well, and again, change the camera. And I think closing it actually makes him jump scare you. Yeah, should have done more. Appear, yeah, because he appears in your office and everything, and then he like jumps at you that way. Oh, like okay, the- so yeah, okay. I I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> um Phantom Mangle um actually hangs out in a camera as well. And um she actually does not cause an effect. She makes it to where you can't open up your cameras anymore. And she'll just kind of wait no, or is that No. She actually doesn't do anything that I remember. No. Uh, she just hangs out. Like wait. in like the mirror. Or in the window, I mean. Who causes an audio disruption? Then not like is that the puppet I'm thinking of when like you? Because I know no, one the, puppet, thing the out- puppet sits like right there and like yeah, can't it, make it, like, not open your cameras it, or anything anymore. I remember someone does like non audio disruption for the camera, but like an actual disruption in like it was probably in the game. It Let's could have been- say it's mangled. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it was mangled. And Phantom <laughs> Puppet, as you can see, this is kind of. If he um, appears, which will be, you actually, you actually won't see the Phantom Puppet. You'll see the puppet in yeah. his full glory in his normal attire from FNAF 2. But if you see him and you don't change the camera in time, he'll make you close your screen. And then you're just kind of stuck with him. And you can't open up any other screens until he goes away. Which yeah. could cause a death because Springtrap can be running around. Thank you for in, uh, saying that it's like the actual real one because you can in fact see like the reflection on the water from when it's standing over it, so we know that's like the real body at least. Yeah. So I was, I was going to point that out if you didn't. Yeah, uh, that definitely a good point. Um, Phantom Balloon Boy again, everybody's favorite. Missing his sign, missing his balloon, his top button is broken, and not counting the color swap. Um, I think he also does an audio disruption when he pops up. It would make sense. <laughs> I think so. Probably. Knowing him. And now it's on. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Now we're going to do a small chat about theories and all that fun stuff from him. From FNAF 3. <laughs> okay. I sped through that in seven to eight minutes. I'm proud of myself. Okay. Go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, oh my God. Wait. You, you start. Because I had a train of thought and I completely lost it. You... <laughs> okay. So like I said, um. Springtrap, there's a few different theories about him being in, him being William or Michael. It is Mike it is William Afton. It's William Afton. Um, there's also some mini games as well that can be found out throughout the actual levels. Some of them are um, you have to put like a code into the wall. I think it was 1987, I do believe, or 83, one of the uh, two. I think <laughs> no, the code. If you're talking about the one on the wall, yeah, it's the hex code for purple backwards. So. Oh, right. And then it's a lot of different mini games. Um, one was Mangle collecting herself, Chica collecting cu- toy Chica collecting cupcakes, mm-hmm. Balloon Boy collecting balloons, and then there's also one where um, you're either Fred, your Fred Bear, and Spring Bonnie on stage. Yes. And you walk out into the crowd, I believe. And then there's also a glitched version where you're a purple bunny. Mm-hmm. And you kind of just like sink deeper into the matrix um, as you go along. Um, I'm trying. To, um, and then there's also a secret screen where there's a Freddy sitting next to you instead of that in the hallway. Some people say it's Golden Freddy. Some people just say it's a Freddy. It just kind of depends on how you look at it. I think it is supposed to be a Golden Freddy, but I'm not 100 percent sure. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay. So another big topic, obviously, is like this is the first game where we had like a difference between multiple different endings because like we see it happen again right. in location uh because there's like the good ending or the bad ending the bad ending are they i don't know which one's canon uh i forget which one but i think the bad like, one's canon because the bad one is the one where you don't do any of the mini games and yeah. the good one is where you do the mini games yeah so it's probably just like them. it's just like the location where the bad ending is canonical okay yeah um, 
that makes sense kind of if if you included ultimate custom night but anyways mm -hmm. um the so the thing that i want to bring up with that kind of is like obviously you have like the good ending or the bad ending it's like has like very different paths um you have like the happiest day mini game and all that stuff um like what do you kind of think about that you guys i think it's really really cool um definitely i think that was a good idea just because mm -hmm. it gives it more of a on a on a um replay value that makes it very interesting being like okay so it's a different ending i need to find it I need go to youtube and figure out what it is um <laughs> Because let's be honest, who's actually going to just sit there and do it other than a YouTuber? Exactly. exactly. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's my main point on it. Like, it was pretty interesting. And then once we figured out which one's canon or not, that was definitely very interesting as well. Ooh, I have another thing. Uh, so obviously we know it's like uh, Crash Bear Fright is 30 years in the future from FNAF 1, um, I believe. And so, oh yeah, yeah, because uh, they find him, they find a uh, spring trap in the back room that is supposed Beyond to be a wall. Out. Yeah, in the wall, because it was like, it was a back room that was covered up. I have mm -hmm. two things about that. Um, one is since he was found in this, was he found in the FNAF 1 location or no? I forget which I one. I think he was. I think he was found in the back room of FNAF it's 1. I think it was like technically behind the stage. If yeah. I'm remembering, I'm kind of like getting some hints from like the books as well that's yeah. why i think just like a behind the stage thing yeah okay because my thing was like a lot of people are like oh yeah this is gonna like lead into fnaf one i guess too but they think oh yeah it's fnaf uh is purple guy the phone guy or whatever too um yeah. which is like kind of like a heavily debated theory and i want to hear hear your thoughts on that um but even regardless even if we cast like that stuff aside how do you think he survived for 30 years or like what do you think about that kind of because like I how he like he always comes back, but like no one can survive sitting there in a pool of blood for thirty years, especially without like food or water. Like, what what is this man doing? Um, I, I <laughs> great keto. Um, no, uh, <laughs> no. Um, I think it was more like he got he he died, and then like something brought him back. I feel like he died, and then something brought him back. Not he survived this whole time. Yeah. And, and just, and since I probably gonna be next question anyway, um, I don't think Purple Guy and Phone Guy are the same guy because Springtrap's in a wall. Mm -hmm. And so if we're saying if William Afton is Purple Guy and Springtrap is William Afton, then he can't, he yeah. can't be in two, two places at once at this time. Yeah. <laughs> at this moment, he can't be at two places at the same time. We'll talk about that in a future episode. <laughs> Oh god. Okay. Yeah, I just like wondering because that is like a heavily debated topic, and especially because like a uh, phone guy in FNAF one is like, oh yeah, make sure you check like the uh like back room or something because like he like implies that's where he's gonna go. Um, this <laughs> isn't the episode with those uh with that game, but you know what I wanted to bring. Yeah, it's up. fine. It's fine. We're it's all like conjoined. Like you have to it's, talk. It's, to FNAF, it's the FNAF Sim Act universe. It's fine. <laughs> oh god. Okay. So is okay. that all we're doing for FNAF 3? Sadly, I do believe that is all we're going to do for FNAF 3. I am going to bring up a thing when we talk about Nightmare Freddy, which I believe is first, so. Okay, also, let me know who's on the screen, because for a little bit it wasn't loading properly, so I couldn't see. Yeah. So just, like, let uh, me I'll, know. I'll, I'll, make, I'll make sure you know. Okay, so <laughs> first we're going to start off with Nightmare Freddy, but I do want to say a quick thing. At first, people thought that he was going to be called Spring Freddy because, like, Spring Trap, because he was another mm -hmm. animatronic with five fingers, and this was the first. Because there, as you can see, there's a picture of him, and then also the the um, trailer, like the teaser image as well. Okay. Um, <gasps> so we first of all, I'm going to list out all the characters that I'm going to be talking about. Kind of. Um, so obviously we have like Nightmare Freddy, Nightmare Bonnie, Nightmare Chica, Nightmare Foxy, uh, Plush Trap as well. And then Nightmare Balloon Boy, uh, Nightmare Fredbear, Nightmare Crying Child, Michael Afton, Freddles, Fredbear, the Fredbear plush. I'm gonna like talk about that a little bit. Um, yep. Jacko Chica, Jacko Bonnie, Nightmare Mangle, and My Nightmare Own. Um, yep. But only some of those are canon. So in the first uh, variation of that, uh, there's like the regular version that got released, and then the Halloween update. The Halloween update had Nightmare Balloon Boy, Jacko, Bo Jacko Chica, Jacko Bonnie, Nightmare Mangle, and Nightmare Own. Only one of those from the Halloween DLC is uh, canon, which is Nightmare Balloon Boy, which I... Why? <laughs> yeah, just why? <laughs> Not, but anyways, 
Um, that was kind of like an overview. So I'll still like say who's canon, who who's canon, and who isn't when I'm like going over the characters. But like, yeah. just like an overview, I guess. Definitely a good thought to think about. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so right now we're doing Nightmare Freddy, correct? Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. So Nightmare Freddy, essentially, I'm doing this off the top of my head, so it's going to be a fun one. Oh, um, no, you're fine. It'll just be like what I did. <laughs> I know, okay. Uh, so he attacks from, like, behind the player, uh, and essentially when the only way to, like, get rid of him is if you uh, shine your flashlight at the little frettles, which will accumulate on your bed, and the more you leave them unchecked, the more you will, like, the more likely you are to have him jump scare you. Mm -hmm. um, you can tell that the frettles are there when, like, your light starts, like, flickering a lot if you, like, leave it uh, unchecked for a really long period of time. Um, but he doesn't attack from anywhere else, I believe. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, yeah, that's often at four, they have, like, set this is where they yeah. attack from. Um, and then Foxy... Wait, who's next, actually? I should... Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie. In my in my thing, it's Bonnie, but we can skip around if needed. I can skip the Foxy if you Just want. Just tell me who I'm doing next, and I'll, like, talk Bonnie. about it. Bonnie. We're doing Night for okay. Bonnie. So, Bonnie. Uh, Bonnie um, will attack uh, on the left hallway uh, in that area, and he he only goes in that way. Uh, you can hear Bonnie when... You can hear Bonnie, because FNAF 4 is, like, a lot about um, audio cues. Audio. Just, like, seeing it. Uh, you can hear Bonnie... And I believe, is bon does Bonnie also go at the end of the hallway and then go, like, around the corner? Because I know Nightmare No, I think it... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I, I think so. Nightmare Bonnie does. I'd assume so, but, like... I, I assume so. Okay, yeah. So we're just going to assume that he does, because they follow, like, the exact same things, roughly, besides being on opposite ends of the hallway. Um, mm -hmm. But regardless, uh, Bonnie will come down the hallway and, like, try to attack you there. Uh, if he gets in, your, in the room, obviously, if he attacks and kills you. Um, but yeah, there's nothing really notable about that besides just listen to that and hear if you hear breathing. Um, um, he is louder than Chica. I remember that Chica's quieter than Bonnie, uh, so mm -hmm. it's, like, easier to hear him. So, next up we're going to be talking about Chica and her, and her cupcake, which are two different characters, god damn it. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> they work that way sometimes. Yeah, exactly, they work that way sometimes. Um, so obviously, like I said, uh, Chica goes from the right hallway or east hallway, I guess, um, if, if, like, whatever, uh, she'll go and attack you from there, like I said, a rare, like, kind of thing, I guess, uh, is you can see her, like, going, peeking around from behind the cam, not cam, the corner, um, and same thing, uh, you have to listen to it and close the door if Chica's near, um, obviously you have to, like I said, be careful about the breathing, because it's a lot quieter than Bonnie, um, and I know that the cupcake's in a different way, but I forget how the cupcake works. I, Me I too. Ne I, I never remember how the cupcake works. The cupcake is like, Chica was there, and there's also a cupcake. <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, I, have, I have no idea. I feel like a fake fan. I'm horrible. It's fine. <laughs> and something else I realized from looking at this, again, we're going to go back into the, FNAF, into the first episode a little bit, is uh, her how her mouth works is like how um, Withered, Chico works as well. Yeah, because I think I think that's uh, the nightmare versions aren't the nightmare versions of the FNAF one ones, but they're the FNAF uh, two withered animatronics before they were withered. Technically. Yeah, yeah, but because they're from the older location mm -hmm. uh, from 1983, which I'll get into that in a little bit. Yeah, that's um, a whole diff that's a whole another <laughs> can of worms. Um, uh, next absolutely. up is um, Nightmare Foxy. If you're ready for yeah. them, I mean. So Nightmare Fox essentially is only in your closet. He doesn't like attack from anywhere else. Um, you essentially have to flash your light, and if you like, is at his final stages, he'll jump scare you, and you have to close the um, closet. He'll like start to do it, and you're like, nope, not today. <laughs> and so he does that, and he again like uh, like uh, in FNAF one has multiple stages where like the more you like shine your light and like close the door, the more he'll like go back until he reverts back to a plushy form. He's the only one that reverts back to a plushy form. Because, like, sure, you see... Marketable plushies! <laughs> of course, you love them. Um, but he's, he turns into a plushie in the closet. And then Freddy is a plushie on the bed, but he doesn't turn into that. He's just, like, kind of chilling there. He's just hey, there. It's finally loaded for me, so I can see... I can see the... <laughs> <laughs> we can see who we're on. Um, oh, God. Um, but, yeah, it's also worth mentioning how it's interesting how Foxy actually has a head in this, considering 
whenever we see Foxy in cutscenes as like a plushie, he doesn't have the head. So that's the kind of oh, interesting. Yeah. It's like an interesting parallel that I've noticed before, and I've like not thought too deeply about it, but like I'm kind of thinking about it now, I guess. Um, and another thing to like uh, mention about it is not only is like the mechanic just like practical kind, of, practical kind of like referring back to like uh, FNAF one, or just like there's nowhere else to really put him. Uh, but it's also, I think, because, like, oh, the brother likes to jump out and scare the crying child, so that's, like, kind of reminiscent of it, um, yeah. but, yeah. Um, one more thing about Foxy, about how he works, he starts out in the hall, and he runs into the, um, closet. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, like but there is some, but there is, but in the Nightmare, in, in the Halloween update, they did add to where you can turn on instant, like, it's, it was, like, insta-Foxy, and he's already okay. in the closet. Is that that was just a small note, that's all. No, that's fine. Is that why the closet, like, moves when at some point? And, like, it, like, yeah. and, okay. I wasn't sure. Because he was runs like, in there. Because, like, he goes like, from the same side that Bonnie's on, and he runs mm-hmm. in, goes into the closet, and then he starts his whole okay, nonsense. That makes sense. Oh, right, because that's why there's nothing in the closet there. Okay, yeah, I got that. Yeah. I never knew that. Makes sense, though. Very logical. Um, okay, um, Nightmare Fred Bear. Yep, Nightmare Fred Bear. Really quickly before I go into Nightmare Fred Bear, for all the other animatronics, they attack until Night 5. Uh, mm-hmm. Once Night 5 comes on, only Nightmare Fred Bear is going to be active for Night 6 and Night 7. No, Night 5 and Night 6. Uh, he was active for those two nights. He's the only animatronic. None of the other ones are there, uh, at least in the game. Um, yeah. But so he also has, like, uh, like the red eyes, like, dis- disheveled appearance. I didn't talk about any of the other appearances, but whatever. <laughs> um, he... He's a Freddy, obviously, as you can see, with, like, really, really, really uh, heavily, like, sharp teeth, like, lots of jaw line stuff. Um, he also, is he the only animatronic with, like, a jaw in the middle of him, like, cut in half the side? Oh, uh, other than Nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, because the two Freddies lap that way. Um, but he starts occurring after you get bit by Fredbear in, like, the cutscenes, which we'll get into later on. Yeah, um, that's a whole other talking point. Exactly, but he will attack you from anywhere, so it's like he'll be behind the bed, he'll be in the closet, he'll be on both sides. Um, he kind of, like, follows the patterns for everyone, I guess, because, like, if you yeah. do like, anything, uh, his head's on the bed, but you just have to, like, uh, shine at that enough. Uh, the closet, same thing, you have to shine at him and close it, I believe. Uh, yeah. The hallway, obviously, if you hear him breathing, better <laughs> shut those eyes uh the that door i don't remember if it's in the original game or just in uh fnaf vr but can you see his eyes in the hallway you can't right i, it's think, a- I yeah. think you can or it's just nightmare i know i remember you can see his yeah. eyes in one of them i don't and i think nightmare start nightmare fred Burst starts appearing at the end of night four like after 5 p.m oh yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah, night it's, it's- five has mainly nightmare fred bear and then turns into nightmare mm-hmm. yeah Okay, sweet, yeah. I couldn't, like, remember exactly, but, like, I was, like, I knew there was, like, a shift at some point, but I couldn't remember if it was only Fredbear into Nightmare or if it was the animatronics into Fredbear. I couldn't remember. Um, yeah. But there, that's what we know about him, kind of. Uh, like I said, the nightmares start happening after you get bit and everything, so that's, like, yeah. it makes sense for him to be scared of that. Definitely. Yeah. And then we have our lovely friend here. So Nightmare is really, really interesting. Oh, God. Because, like, I'm not I'm not 100% sure about him, but, like, he's essentially, like, a different... He has the same, uh, relatively same look as Fredbear. Um, obviously, like, darker. He has some parts of him that's, like, if you look at him, you can kind of see he has more of, like, a solid outline that's a lot skinnier and everything like that. And you can see, like, almost a human brain inside of him and, like, around, like, his actual, like, exo- exoskeleton. Uh, you can see it's, like... He's more translucent than the other ones are. Translucent. But you can't uh, really see it on, with the black character on the black background, exactly. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> That's, I'm like, oh, I wish I could, like, show it on the screen. Um, but yeah, I'm not completely... I was not prepared for this one. I should have been. I didn't have enough time to write down notes for this one. It's fine. But yeah. Um, God, if we ever do another one of these, I am coming back and I'm ranting about Nightmare. Mark my words. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I have like a small like theory about him, but I'll we I'll talk. carry it on. I'll I'll wait until we're on um the discussion part of him though. Okay. Um, <laughs> plus trap 
and then we'll go yeah. back to the Halloween ones. I just put them in the wrong yeah. order because I'm stupid. <laughs> so plus Shep obviously is like this small little demon thing that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially. Um but but, what? Oh no no, I'm stupid. Sorry, go ahead. You're good. Okay. Um, but what's really interesting about Plush Trap is uh, for both Plush Trap and uh, Nightmare Bloom Boy later on, when you have like the Halloween update uh, and takes Plush place, uh, if you like beat their mini game, uh, you can skip to two a.m. I believe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, two a.m. Okay, uh, and you can like skip More those early hours. Um, and so basically, what you have to do is he sits in the middle, at, like the end of the hallway, on like a chair, and you have to flash your light at him and get him on the X. Um, if you don't, it, like, if you, like, run out of time, or if you, like, don't catch him, in, uh, before he jump scares you, then it's obviously, obviously game over. Um, you don't, you don't die, I don't think, you just don't get the skip. Yeah, um, you don't get the skip. You, yeah. Just, like, he's just like, no! He's like, no, <laughs> I'm beating you. Um, <laughs> but the thing, like, an interesting thing about him, kind of, like, from the books, is there, like, I don't know if this is supposed to be the exact model, but, like, in the books, it talks about, like, or the new one, the Fazbear Frights, not the yeah. novel. Um, but it talks about a plush trap with, like, human teeth and human eyes, which is, like, kind of in interesting to this. I, it's not the same model, obviously, because, like, humans don't have that many teeth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, like, that's still, like, an interesting thing to, like, kind of know about the character. Um, we don't really know much about plush trap besides that, I guess, and if I'm mistaken. Not no, you're you're right. I mean, like, there's some theories that he's also like he has something to do with spring trap, but that's made yeah. because of his coloring and his last name's exactly. trap. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's not like a whole lot that I think we know him. Yeah, I could be completely wrong though. <laughs> um. So now we'll go on to um Nightmare Mangle. Oh God. Okay. So Nightmare Mangle is not canon. Uh. Oh yeah. All those ones before this were canon. Um. Mm -hmm. If I, I didn't say that for whatever. Uh, Nightmare right. Mangle is one of the ones from the Halloween update who isn't canon. Uh, Mangle takes the place of Foxy where they'll be in the closet instead. Um, same like mechanic, uh, shine the light, close it, whatever. Um, there's not really much to say about Nightmare Mangle, especially because it's not uh, canon. So there's not like a whole lot with the lore. Mm -hmm. um, which I'm honestly really surprised that Nightmare Mangle isn't canon only because you see Mangle literally in the um little girl's room so that's like interesting that it's not canon yeah definitely um uh, next is gonna be nightmare on if you're ready yeah nightmare on um i does it take place it takes the place of fredbear and nightmare correct when they like it only becomes active like night five or later on i remember yeah some, yeah okay. i do believe so yeah i knew it took i knew it like took the place of them because like it has like it's the same like general mechanics that follows you everywhere i just couldn't remember what night like fully started um, mm -hmm. but like, also not canon, um, but it still, like, follows the same mechanics as, like, Fredbear and Nightmare will follow you, like, everywhere. It has, like, a whole bunch of stuff. It's very, very fast and, like, very, very creepy. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's not a whole lot to really say about Nightmare on. There's not a whole lot to say about any of the ones that aren't really canon. And then there's Nightmare Balloon Boy. The yeah. only, the <laughs> only one from the Halloween update who's canon. God, which, like, it's so weird that it's canon. It, like, especially if, like, Nightmare, like, uh, Nightmare Mangle, like I said, isn't canon. Because, like, the yeah. only thing I can really think of for Night uh, Nightmare Balloon Boy being canon is, like, oh, there's, like, the little, well, not the only thing, but, like, the little boy there we meet who is, like, implied to look like uh, Balloon Boy, like, direct, like, parallel to them. So I get why he would be in there, but not Mangle if it's, like, that version. Um, yeah. But basically, Nightmare Balloon Boy takes, play takes the place of Plus Trap, like I said. Um, we'll just, like, try to attack you that way. Um, just, like, a deeper voice and everything. Nothing really, really changes, um, yeah. from that. But, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, now we're going to go on to, um, Jack O'Bonnie and then Jack O'Chica. Okay. Uh, so, they're both, like I said, not canon as well. Uh, so there's not, like, a whole, whole lot to say about them. Uh, mm -hmm. they still, like, they, uh, follow the same patterns as, um, the regular... The regular nightmares. <laughs> yeah, as a regular nightmare, Bonnie and Chica, yeah. respectively. Yeah, there's like nothing really a whole lot to say about them. There's nothing. There's no new lore or anything based off off them. They're just reskins for a spooky time. <laughs> spooky time, and also pumpkin. Oh yeah, the pumpkin. Is dead. How do you uh, like? 
Uh, yeah, the pumpkin basically just replaces the cupcake. Yeah. It, same same type of mechanics. And it has its own jump scare as well, I believe. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I believe they all do have their own thing as well, so that's good. I wonder. Uh, if, I haven't played FNAF four personally. I wish I have. I need to at some point, but I haven't. I wonder if uh, the Jacko animatronics are easier to a degree, only because you could see them better in the hallway. I don't know, because like you can't see them obviously, but like when look around the corner. I don't know. I'm just like thinking off the top of my head. No. Yeah. Idea. There's like a specific version. I think, I think they are the same. I, I think they're yeah. supposed to be a little bit harder because they're like in like a special mode. But yeah. it's like how there's also like Mad Freddy where he like he oh, yeah. comes up faster. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. So I'm really quickly before we go into the other ones, I'm gonna kind of talk about like the two humans, I guess. In here. Um. Yeah. And so essentially, it's like the crying child who we don't know the name of. And the older bro- brother, which is, like, very, very heavily implied. And, like, I don't know if it's been confirmed. I don't I don't remember if it has. But it's very, very heavily implied to be Michael Afton. Um, which it would make sense because, like, Michael uh, is William's son and whatever. Um, yeah. So it's, like, essentially confirmed. But, like, um, I'll talk about Crying Child first. Obviously, uh, the protagonist of FNAF 4. We follow, like, him throughout the days and throughout the nights. Um his, like I said, name unknown. He's the bite victim of 83, because yes, there's more than one bite, which is insane. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. But uh, since, I don't know if you have photos or not, I don't think you do, but he's like brown hair with like a black shirt and like two gray stripes, just like describe him kind of. Uh, seen almost always crying. Uh, mm-hmm. His brothers, like, uh, his brother likes to like uh, bully him and like tease him, like shove him yep. around and everything, which leaves him being bit. Um, He's theorized to have seen the missing children's incident, which is why he's potentially so scared of bears. Um, he's also has like he's also ter- like tormented by his brother. Always so like we see him trapped in the uh, storage closet for I believe night four uh, in the cutscene, and he also like gets bit. But like this, the cutscenes are before then, and he's still scared. So like that doesn't completely make sense unless he like saw something that like he shouldn't have, which is implied through the text of the Fred plush that follows us around. Um, he's the, there, he's there, he's everywhere. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? It's like a friend, Fred Bear. Okay. Um, I love that. Um, I, I love the longer one, too. He made a longer one for uh, yeah. one of the, his final theory. <laughs> oh, God. It's, there, there's so uh, there, many. There's, there's a meme where, like, it's from Jimmy Neutron being like, ha-ha, this is my final FNAF theory. Yeah. Matt Pat, you've brought in the final FNAF theory for the next for the past five weeks. <laughs> um, I love it. Um, uh, and then um, I, I I don't mean to interrupt. It's just because like we're running very short on time. Yeah. Um, the I just want to say my theory really quickly. And I'll say it again. Pizza Reader Simulator. Um, so I think that um, Nightmare and Lefty are the same character. Yeah. Like basically, Nightmare is Nightmare Lefty. And Lefty is a black bear who's li- who missed mm-hmm. one of his eye. If if you haven't gotten to that point yet, hopefully we'll be recording that in the future. Um, and and that was supported because, and if you're like, oh my god, but the marionette goes into N- Lefty, Nightmare Marion is not canon. Mm-hmm. That just and sense. how many times are two characters that are the same animal and the same color two different things? Mm-hmm. How and many times does that happen? And not to mention, like I said earlier, we you can see like a slimmer body that's like through the transparency. It doesn't look exactly like the puppet, but like that could that. Does I think it's supposed to be like his endoskeleton, though. I think yeah. that's what that is. But um, definitely uh-huh. something to think about. I'll probably go into more detail with that when we go into that one. But um, mm-hmm. I'm sorry to cut this short. Um, but we'll probably talk a little bit more about FNAF three and four. Um, in the next episode, um, which we'll <laughs> plan to do. But um, I want to say again. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Um, don't forget to follow our lovely co-host here and all that fun stuff. So, um, I at least I will see you in next video. Bye-bye.